Hello, my name is Annie Carlson and I'm going to do a little tutorial video for Baroque Trills. So I'll go ahead and share my screen to show you what I'm going to talk about. So I just did a little three-step diagram for this. So the way that you're going to see um, when you need to do a trill is it'll have a little TR over the top of the note or it could just have the plus sign. And you're going to do a, a Baroque trill with music that is written between the dates of 1600 and 1750. And then for this time period, you're always going to start on the upper note. So if you look down at number two here, the second line, I actually wrote the upper note before it. Um, and a lot of times I even write it in my music just to make sure that I start on the right note. And it has to be, um, it could be an eighth note or it could be a quarter note, kind of depends. And a lot of times the um, editor or the composer actually writes it in the note value. And so you need to pay attention to that. Um, in this case, I just wanted it to be a quarter note. So that's gonna take away half of my half note. So I'll only end up doing the trill on the a quarter note of the A and because the grace note's gonna be a whole quarter. I'm gonna end the trill on a G so I'm gonna go ahead and play steps number one and then number two. So number one is just a half note of the A. And then when I go to number two, the grace note is the B flat, the trilled note is the A, and then the end note is a G, and it just sounds like this. So all I'm going to do is add my trill onto the A, just to the middle note. And I'm not going to make it super fast because if you make it really fast, it can cause tension in your fingers and you don't want that to happen. So it, it needs to be faster than 16th notes, but it doesn't need to be so fast that you feel your whole hand tightening up. So I'm going to use my B flat thumb key, which is the double key on the back of the flute. I'm going to trill L2. And that's all I'm going to trill. You don't have to do anything else. Don't move your thumb key back and forth or anything like that. So I'm going to add the trill on to only the A. It sounds like this. Two, three, four. So um, sometimes you'll actually see a knock schlag on the end of uh, the trill. And if you look down at number three, the Nachschlag is the little um, double note that's at the end. And, and in German, Nach really it literally means night, which is the end. So um, you're just going to go down to the lower note from the trill. Then you're going to go back up to the A, and then you're going to end it on the G. So I'm still going to do the same rhythm for the B flat. The trill is only on the A with the B flat thumb key again. And then to end it, you're just going to do G, A, G. So this is what number three sounds like. Two, three, four. So the thing that you need to remember about trills is you always have to take into consideration the key signature. And then you have to be able to know what the trill fingerings are. So it's either at the end of a good book or a method book, or you can look online. There are a lot of great websites that tell you fingerings. And um, the other thing is sometimes the rhythm is not always necessarily just a quarter note and a quarter note. So um, you that's something that you just kind of have to figure out. And the reason why Baroque music is so ambiguous in that way is because there was a lot of improvisatory um, things that happened in Baroque music. They did cadenzas. Most of the players knew how to um, play a cadenza and it and that went through um, Mozart's time, which is in the classical era, era. So in that way, it's actually a little bit more like jazz, our jazz is now. So some things you just have to study and then you learn about the rhythms, you learn whether or not it needs a nachschlag at the end or not. And um, sometimes you'll get clues in the music and sometimes you won't. It Honestly, it depends on the publisher. So this is just a little start for you. And um, you can do a little bit more homework if you would like some more information about it. Okay, thank you. Good luck.